Hello my loves, Tony here from TL Yarn Crafts and welcome back to my channel. Now I recently challenged myself to crochet a sweater for the Beyonce concert in eight days. Now I've only ever crocheted myself two sweaters before so I knew this would be a huge challenge. Today I'm sharing the crochet hooks that helped me crochet my sweater in just six days. These my friends are the Tulip Etimo Reds. In today's quick review, I'm sharing what's inside this kit, why I love it so much, and a few ways that they could improve. Stick around until the end of the video to decide if these might be a good fit for you. Now, if all of that sounds like a great time, make sure you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. Today's cup of caffeine sponsor is named Fred, and when donating, Fred kept it short and sweet. He said, for all the hard work and all that you put into your videos, thank you. And thank you so much for the support, Fred. It means the world to me. I absolutely love this part of my job and I'm glad you get a lot out of it as well. Now, if you enjoy my videos and want to support my channel, buy me a coffee. Who knows, I might shout you out in the next one. Now, just to be transparent, I do want to disclose that these hooks were gifted to me by the folks at Tulip when I visited H&H &H Chicago last month. But just know that this video is not sponsored by Tulip and they did not give me anything to say such nice things about their product. Every glowing review is from my own experience. Now, let's talk crochet hooks. There are a lot of crochet hooks out there, which is great because we get to pick and choose which hooks are the best for us. Now, more recently, I've heard a lot of people looking for solutions for crochet hooks that alleviate cramping and pain in our hands when we crochet for a long time. I always recommend taking breaks and stretching, but honestly, investing in the right tools is the best piece of advice I can give for alleviating pain while crocheting. Now, alleviating pain and helping you to crochet faster are just two of the reasons that I love these Etimo Reds. These hooks debuted in the summer of 2020 and have been making a splash ever since. These hooks are made by Tulip, which is a Japanese-based company that's been producing high-quality tools in the Hiroshima region for over 75 years. The Etimo collection has the traditional gray set, which I have. I really, really love that roll-up case for travel. They also have the rose set, which is basically the same as the gray set, but in pink. And now we have the Etimo reds. Now, in addition, in addition to each of these sets, you can also find the hooks sold individually from many different retailers. Taking a closer look at the Etimo Red set, you get eight total hooks. Inside the set, you get a 1.8 millimeter, a 2 millimeter, 2.2 millimeter, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, and a five millimeter. This does seem like a kind of odd combination of hooks for a set, but it does make a lot of sense if you're gonna do any kind of lace work, amigurumi, or even garment making. The most notable feature of these hooks is the gorgeous soft carmine color. Now, in addition to being a yarn snob, I am also a color snob, and I have to say, this is the most perfect shade of red I have ever seen. It also helps that the aluminum hook head is the same red color as the matte coating, and that coating ensures that there's no glare off of the hook, sparing you from any unnecessary eye strain. The hooks themselves are five and a half inches long, which at first glance seems to be a little shorter than I prefer. But compared to my favorite hooks of all time, the Clover Amours, these are just a smidge shorter, so I guess it's all right. The handle has a nice cushion and a soft rubbery feel, making it easy to find and keep the perfect grip. The hook head is a hybrid style, almost identical to the Clover Amours with some minor design differences. The thumb rest is slightly depressed compared to the rest of the hook and finishes with a slight hump just before you reach the metal part of the hook. Resting my thumb on the hump irritates my knuckles, so I typically position my thumb just below it. The hook size is printed on a lightly reflective label that's fused to the handle. Now only time will tell if that hook size is going to rub off, but it looks pretty durable right now. On the back, you'll find the brand logo embossed near the bottom of the hook, and thankfully that bossing did not irritate my hand while crocheting. In addition to the hooks, this set comes with a bunch of really nice goodies. The rigid ruler is helpful for measuring gauge. It is in centimeters though, so keep that in mind when you're taking your notes. The two included tapestry needles can pierce this fabric tag and stay put inside of the case. I'm a big fan of metal tapestry noodles and I can always use more, so this was an added bonus. The closure for the case does double duty as a scissors keeper, though the scissors are not included. I just grabbed a pair of small embroidery scissors and they fit right in. And lastly, we have the case itself. It's a lovely polka dot woven fabric that matches the hooks perfectly. The whole thing rolls up and is fastened with the attached ribbon. It just ends up being so neat and so tidy and so cute. There's something about these amazing hooks with this gorgeous case and all of these added goodies. It's so thoughtfully done and it just, 
it brings joy to my life. Now the ultimate test of any crochet hook is how well it actually works in stitches. So let's play around with some swatches, starting off with wool. Just as expected, the Etimo Reds move silky smooth through the Superwash Merino yarn. I chose this type of wool since it's gonna have a little less friction than a traditional wool. This was an experiment to see if the hook would be too slippery and thankfully it wasn't. There was just enough tension without having to adjust the normal way that I move my hook and it's got me considering this hook for future projects like temperature blankets or other long-term things. I first tested out these hooks on my sweater which uses a 100% cotton yarn that is very similar to what I'm swatching with now. Just like in the original project, it feels like these hooks were made for cotton yarn. It offers just a bit of tension, more than the merino wool, and that's really a good thing. The flow was even and consistent, making me able to stitch faster. Now I do wonder though how these hooks would stand up to a slipperier yarn, like a linen or maybe even a bamboo. I assume that you'd want something with more tension, but it would be worth trying out. Lastly, I tried some acrylic yarn, and once again, the Etimo Reds flow just like butter. The smooth brushed aluminum slips into the stitches no problem, but I did have some minor issues with splitting, but slightly different than what I normally have issue with. In this case, I had issues with the chin of the hook, which is right at the bottom of the hook head, splitting the yarn as I was pulling up my loops. It might be the yarn, it might be the hook, I'm not 100% sure, but more experimentation would be necessary. There is a lot to love about the clever and really thoughtful design of Tulip's Etimo Red crochet hook set. Though I do typically use larger crochet hooks, five millimeter and above, it is really nice to have a good set of lace weight crochet hooks. I've always dreamed about making one of those lace weight cotton dresses, and it's nice to know that I now have the tools in my collection when I'm ready to take on that project. The handle makes sure that once I set my hand, it's not sliding up and down the hook, and the beautiful red color is just gorgeous to look at regardless of what yarn color you're using. I also like all the add-ins within this set. Minus an actual set of scissors, you've pretty much got everything that you need to start a project, which makes this great for gifting. Now I will say this hook set is nearly perfect, but there are a couple things that I would change. First off, of course, I'm gonna expand the sizes. I'm gonna put in a four and a half millimeter, a five and a half millimeter, a six, and a six and a half millimeter. Of course, that's gonna drive the price up, but it's gonna make this set feel more complete to me, which might, feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck. I would also include a pair of scissors that matches the overall design of this set, and I would come up with a better solution for the tapestry needles. They work with the little pin cushion that's included there, but I would make a pocket for the tapestry needles, and I would also include a magnet inside of that pocket to make sure the tapestry needles don't move around. Now, if you're interested in Tulip's Etimo Red set, you have a lot of options when it comes to retailers. I was able to find these at Joanne. They cost $160. $65, but don't worry, you can use your 40% off coupon and it brings them down to $99. The Etimo Red Set is also available from Michaels. Typically they retail for $121 there, but at the time of filming this, they were sitting right around $98 on sale. The absolute best price for this set I was able to find was on Amazon. You can get them right now for just shy of $80. You can also find these hooks on sites like Etsy and eBay, but please be careful. There are knockoffs on that site that look a lot like the originals. And those knockoffs are a reasonable price and they have pretty good reviews. But in my opinion, ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. But that's just the opinion of one yarn snob and I would love to know what you think. Does the price seem reasonable for this set? And how do you feel about the mix of sizes? If you walked into your local yarn store and saw these hooks, would you take them home with you or would you leave them on the shelf? Let me know down in the comments. I absolutely love reading what you have to say. Now, don't forget to leave your video suggestions suggestions down in the comments and also like this video if you haven't already. I've been doing a little experimenting with how I record and upload my videos. So thank you so much for rolling with all of those changes. And I appreciate you watching this one and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.